Today, I want to talk about a common misconception by young learners. Heavier objects fall faster than lighter objects. This common misconception arises from the belief that an object's weight directly influences the speed at which it falls. However, according to the principles of physics, all objects fall at the same rate, regardless of their mass, when dropped from the same height in a vacuum. This concept was famously demonstrated by Galileo Galilei when he dropped two spheres of different masses from the Leaning Tower of Pisa. The reason objects sometimes appear to fall at different rates in everyday life is due to air resistance which can have a more significant impact on lighter objects. Air resistance is the force that acts against an object's motion as it moves through the air. This resistance can cause objects with different shapes and sizes to fall at different rates, even if they have the same mass. For example, consider a feather and a bowling ball. Both are subjected to the same gravitational force when dropped from the same height. However, the feather encounters much more air resistance due to its shape and surface area, causing it to fall much slower than the bowling ball. In a vacuum, where there is no air resistance, both the feather and the bowling ball would fall at the same rate, demonstrating that it is not an object's mass, but rather the presence of air resistance that affects the rate at which objects fall in everyday life. You can address this misconception with students with a simple in-class demonstration. Drop two objects with different masses, but similar shapes and surface areas, such as a small and a large ball, from the same height. Observe and discuss the results with the students. This will help students see that, in the absence of significant air resistance, objects of different masses fall at similar rates. Next, conduct another demonstration using two objects with the same mass but different shapes and surface areas, such as a crumpled piece of paper and a flat sheet of paper. Drop them simultaneously from the same height and have students observe the results. This will help them understand how air resistance, not mass, is the primary factor affecting the rate at which objects fall. Worksheets relating to this short video can be downloaded by creating a free account at ngscience.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the NG Science YouTube channel to never miss a video.